Okay, I think this designer might have perfected Japanese restaurant architecture. I love the techniques used in the black roof along with the wooden planks spread throughout. The colors here work perfectly together. The way this splits apart into two separate sections absolutely blew me away. The interior has been taken to the next level as well, capturing everything you'd see at a sushi spot. I went through all 237 sets of LEGO's BrickLink Designer Program for Adults series number four, and I narrowed it down to my top 50 picks. Everything you see here is brand new to the program, so let's go. This cabin looks welcoming and cozy, and there's something about mixing greens and browns that just works with these creations. The blue transparent pieces on the lake, along with the three-dimensional rock structures, complement each other extremely well. Check out this impressive Art Deco railway station. It's rare to see this combination of colors with the orange, golds, and light blues. The entire scene is amazing with an included track that circles the area. Winners will be announced in March, and we'll go in-depth and grade them, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to be notified. Next up, we have a cozy little place to warm up during the winter season. The interior is decked out with smooth wooden planks and makes for such a relaxing spot on both floors. You know, it's not every day you see something completely new and original in the LEGO designer space. Castles are such a blast to build, and I would imagine that this one would be memorable. You open this thing up and it transforms into a beautiful model with easy access to the interior. A quick glance at the inside reveals highly decorated rooms that tell a story. With an early 1900s design, you've got to admire the combination of brick-built lettering with highly detailed stickers on this radio station. The details continue to the inside with studless designs throughout the main lobby. It also has just about everything you'd see in a radio station, so I would say they did their research and hit a home run with this modular. Speaking of details, the outside of the shopping center is absolutely fantastic with its shades of browns throughout the masonry. The first floor has smooth designs amongst the different stores, along with an escalator that takes you right up to the top. All right, it's time to check out an incredible pirate display. With a unique construction, the interactivity is what sets this one apart. From hidden weaponry to moving gears that actually trap unwanted visitors, I have to say that the ingenuity on this model has hit the upper tier of design. Design. This is the first time I've seen this LEGO Ideas designer in the BrickLink program, so they've kicked off with a bang. Oh, and if you want me to cover more fan designs like you've seen here, hitting the like button lets me know that you're interested. Here's a vacation spot on the mountains that would be a great spot to de-stress. You can easily take the entire thing apart to access all the interiors, and when you peek inside, there's so much to love about this one. Now onto a warmer climate with this beautiful adobe house, and I'm impressed with how large this one is. There's just so much going on with this open back building, and I feel like it would be such a blast to build. A bit on the smaller side, this antique shop is straight out of a small town. It has lots of little details surrounding the entire structure, and once you get inside, you start to see all of its charm, with its relics from a much simpler time. From a small shop in a small town to a canal in a large city, this creation has a nifty little trick up its sleeve. We see busy city life when we take a quick glance with a pizzeria and a music shop. And there's tons of rooms with interesting scenes everywhere. That magic hits when you snap the model apart and join it together in a different configuration. With a marvelous exterior, this building is straight out of a downtown cityscape. The pillars are captivating and great design surrounds the entire structure even up to the impressive glass dome at the top. The seating on the inside gives it this luxurious grand feeling with the golds and reds. This vacation home went with a stylish design on the outside and it's nicely done. This would be a great spot to relax and enjoy the views with ping pong on the patio. Right away, this cottage impressed me with its amazing roof design. And there's just so much dimension with the use of multiple colors on the sides, along with the vine making its way up. This designer makes such great use of the small space inside, giving it this everything sort of just belongs here feeling. Next up, we have a tower that helps keep wildfires in check. From the park signs that fit the theme to all of the surrounding elements, this lookout has a lot of attention to detail. Our first and maybe only boat in this episode, we have something that is quite unique. The craftsmanship on the outside is high quality from the colors chosen all the way to the design and formations of this eye-catching craft. They even applied a modular treatment so you can check out all of the well thought out interiors. No matter how you look at this, it's marvelous and there was definitely a lot of creativity that went into it. Another building for the wintry season, this ice sculptor is hard at work. I like the display of sculptures and tools that are needed for the job here on the side. We have an open floor plan that makes a very good use of the space and packs lots to see. Now let's jump into the Renaissance era with this wonderful piece. It has an interesting use of colors and it's cool that you get two separate models to build. The storytelling is seamlessly connected between the two portions and we have some beautiful brickwork going on here 
on all sides. And speaking of excellent brickwork, this tower definitely has it. Right away, these climbing vines going up the stone sides add the contrast that this model needs. I love these swing mechanisms to peek inside and a modular setup is always appreciated. Okay, this seaside market is huge. We have a castle with red highlights at the edges, giving it a polished feel along with the multicolor awnings. And we have a much darker castle, which we don't see as often. The creative mind behind this went all in on the 90s Lego branding, which a lot of us have a soft spot for. Here's a creative take at one of the ancient wonders of the world. The added palm trees to elevate this creation and makes the design pop. You even get to interact with the scenes inside while discovering secrets and learning about a piece of history. The Wild West theme is such a fun departure from your typical city buildings. The creative builder behind this one mastered the theme and is no stranger to making these with each Bricklink series. The interior is on point as always. And I don't know how they found the time, but they also made a matching train, which is absolutely fantastic. Not only does this catch your eye with the red, black, and silver, but you also get these additional elements on the side that bring everything together. Speaking of trains, this one is straight out of a shopping mall during the holiday season. Growing up, I remember it was common to see train sets like these at stores, so this brings me way back. We also have a vintage display piece, a historical steam locomotive, and a beautiful model that even powers up. And how about a train that tells the story of a traveling school during the early 1900s? Okay, back to our castles. We have a classic model that's been modernized. I love how they went for a studless and colorful design, and I really dig these models that open up to display a large setting, or you close it up to give you a 360 degree display. And I know, we see a lot of these, but this one's pretty awesome. This training post offers something a bit different. It's excellent from end to end and gives your medieval folks something to do, and these smaller models are quite charming. Another creation from the same designer, this time we have a spot to keep the village running with baked goods. The windmill design looks fantastic and the model has a unique feature of splitting in two for easy access for moving it around. We have another unique take from the medieval era. This setting offers so many interactive pieces and gives you a glimpse into the daily life of some warriors during the time period. It's not often we see a model with a Persian theme, but this Lego designer did their homework and got the architecture and color choices just right. This next one takes us to Rocky Mountain National Park. It tells the story of a family that likes to connect with nature and get away from the crazy city life, which I'm sure a lot of us can resonate with. I thought this little lifeguard set was pretty cool. We see so many huge models, so it's refreshing to see a slice of life in such a small form. Same with this tiny bouquet store. The bright color palette gives it a nice and cheerful feeling with an excellent use of the small space. We have another pirate island that hit the list. It's modular and also splits apart, just like their medieval one. Next up is a rather unique take on the house plants that LEGO has been releasing over the past few years. This one brings in minifigures to spice things up and add character to your home decor. Here we have a stunning futuristic submarine with excellent color choices. I love the use of modular design to access the surprisingly spacious interior. And if you added a light of bricks to this thing, it would take it from here to here without question. Okay, check out this nanoscale build of a lunar space station. All of the colors are perfectly chosen and it amazes me how someone can design recognizable structures and vehicles at this scale. Just like this huge yet tiny galactic city. The colors remind me of retro Lego space sets, which is a very good thing. From the brilliant mind that made that sushi restaurant in the beginning, they somehow had enough creative energy to make this well-crafted space station. I love the glass bubble dome along with the futuristic landing pad. This one splits part to reveal a wonderfully decorated interior for everyone to enjoy the show. This design feels a bit more on the realistic side and something you see in a smaller downtown area. The interior looks great with the smooth wood flooring. This one nailed the color choices for a hospital in the downtown area. The brickwork for the roof and side trimmings is on the fancier side. And speaking about brickwork, I'd have to say that this school is architecturally impressive. It's packed with all the school essentials such as a playground, tons of classrooms and hallways, and even a computer lab. But how does it compare to this former mansion turned into an academy? The masonry is beautifully done on the outside with this contrasting darker right area. It breaks apart nicely as a modular to reveal a handful of classrooms. And here we have a stunning modular building from a well-known LEGO Ideas designer. When you take a look at the inside, you can see they do a masterful job showing off their craft. And check out this video here for more fan designer content where I go in depth and give them a grade. You never know what you're into. So I'll catch you there.